Hello guys, Cursed Monkeys here, and today we will start uh, modeling from uh, this part, from the uh, head. Okay, so I will pick for a uh, first strategy, I believe, uh, create polygon tool, and just trying to match roughly the shape. And this dashed line means that the start and the end point uh, will be connected with the uh, edge and create the edge loop tool. And if you want to, you can press the enter button. Or if you don't want, you can proceed with uh, creating a verti vertex on the plane. Okay, so we already completed this uh, the shape. We can press the enter to complete the loop. Okay, let's go to the perspective view. And uh, I will select the object. Going to the edge mode. Double click the edge to select all the loop. Uh, pressing the W button for a moving tool. And uh, pressing shift right mouse button extrude and right now as you see our axis is in local mode so if we want to change from local or from world uh, axis mode we can just press this uh, turn off button so just click it and right now we are in uh, world mode okay so let's start extruding something like this great and extrude it one more time, go to the world axis and shrinking down this, the, with this cube just point a little bit up ok, extrude it again I believe something like that will be good alrighty, so Right now, I can delete this uh, back face and uh, oh, besides, I've just turned it on the this uh, table of information about uh, our shape. So, if you want to create uh, or open this uh, the same table, you can go just in under display, heads up displays and just I will unpin this uh, head up display uh, table and press uh, for example off poly count or on ok so now I believe you know how to open this window and one more thing I've just uh, turned it off the two side lightning and I will show you why I will turn it on again and uh, for example, wait a second, I will just complete the shape first of all, okay? And after it, I will show you why I've turned it off this uh, this option in my. So I'm just going to into the vertex mode and trying to shape the eyeball of this bug and I believe it will be okay for this something like that great and now I will select the second edge try to shrink it down a little bit select the vertices try to adjust a little bit better Okay, will be good. So we have the hole. Select the uh, edge loop tool. Whoops, edge loop, and press the uh, fill the hole. You can find it under mesh fill hole. Right now we have a 
not uh, quads at this location so we can go to the edit mesh and fix it, fix it with an interactive split tool just select the uh, quads try to create them okay great so we have all the quads just press the free button to check it in preview mode I believe for right now it will be okay so we'll go to the move tool when we're selecting the object and as you see our pivot point is in the uh, middle we just go and center the pivot and uh, from the top view I will just select uh, the object press D and X key for uh, snapping to the grid and D for uh, entering the pivot mode and as you see we were snapping in the center of X axis great so now we can duplicate the object and flip it into another side but firstly we can clear the history so right now I just select the object press shift plus D and as you see we have same object and we want to uh, inverse it in the x-axis because we are on x-axis so we're going to a scale minus one and we have on the opposite side is uh, a shape okay so everything looks good but if we will turn off the two-sided uh, light it should be the second hmm and this time it worked correctly but in some time uh, some cases when you will see uh, with, uh, when the all uh, faces or uh, shape are copied to another side you can just uh, get a simple error it will be reverses, uh, reversed faces and you will don't see anything that is something wrong but then if we will turn off the two sided light you see one of the uh, mesh part is uh, black that means that all faces are inverted into the side and if we will try for example extrude it it goes in not the proper way as you see with dragging to the left and extruding to the right and etc so if you want to don't have any errors like this just uh, turn off uh, two sided lines and it will be faster indication that uh, your faces are in inverse mode so if you want to reverse it back just go to the normals reverse okay so I will select both of these meshes go to mesh combine and right now we have one uh, piece of mesh as you see right here great but we need right now to merge the vertices and if we will go and select all the words you can see we have 20 words okay so we can go to the edit mesh and merge right now we can go select the vertices and try to move it and everything I believe looks fine and second indication is when the selected faces you, you see the selected faces right now it's 10 but previously if you was looking at this uh, counter it was uh, 20 so it's from uh, one side was uh, 10 vertices and from another side was a uh, 20 vertices so when we merge it it equal to 10 so everything looks great okay so we have a basic face uh, face uh, mesh right now can just a little bit adjust it I believe something like that 
Alrighty. And basically, it will be a way for key for a beginning. We can just select uh, some faces and try to, or maybe, or maybe we will do it later. Okay, so right now I will go to the side view, and as you see, with that will be uh, some kind of big uh, armor or uh, or a neck or I don't know. So I'll just do a little bit extrusion to connect with two parts. So I'm going to the back. Select faces. We create, extrude it, and in the local whoops, I've selected in another side too the faces. So just deselect it. Whoops. Wait a second, just undo a few more times. Okay. Just double checking that no one selected. Alrighty, I've just extruded and try to. Okay. Alright, will be okay for this. <coughs> so we have a basic head part right now can of course actually a little bit more the uh, front of the head maybe it's a little bit too much but we're not trying to be very accurate. Okay, extrude it one more time. Something like that. So I have something like this. For now, I can create a neck, I believe, in the next part. So I forgot the eyes, but it's just a simple uh, cylinder shapes, or uh, you can use uh, balls. Or, uh, wait a second, has sphere item, and that's it. Just extrude it and try to adjust the location of it. Okay, so basically, we have some kind of head. It will be great for beginning, and next in the next part, I will just clear the history. In the next part, we will try to create a neck, and we will use a different different strategy how to create a neck, not with a create polygon tool. So just create a layer down here for our head. So it will be bug head okay of course it can be a zero one but so okay i've selected the head go to the uh, layer and add selected object so now everything cool we can keep going so just whoops i just select uh, this project one more time. And call it head. Okay, so I believe that we will meet again in the next tutorial. So take care.